The Stanley Cup playoffs are officially underway and Rusty and the Blue Jackets are down 0-2. There are no words to describe what has happened over the course of the last few episodes. Rostislav Nashrov has forgotten how to score goals. I am not exaggerating when we say this. I think in my last 100 shots on goal, we have zero goals. Usually, Rusty is the kind of guy to clutch up at the biggest moments. Instead, breakaway after breakaway, we have missed the net, we have hit the post, and we have choked this series away. But you know what? It's not over yet. Today, this series turns around. After this episode, we are going to be tied at 2-2. Mark my words for it. And honestly, what I'm realizing right now is this could be the last episode of Be A Pro. We lose two games today, it's done. So no more talking about stepping up and getting the job done. Today, we actually get the job done. Taking a look at the road to the Stanley Cup, we know that this is not going to be an easy journey. Even if we come back and defeat the Detroit Red Wings, we are taking on one of either Boston or Tampa in the next round now here's the good news at some point in the last couple weeks of the season we did bump up to a 71 overall i know this isn't going to do much but i've got to score some goals today so we are putting our wrist shot accuracy up today and hopefully that will be enough to push us over the edge but that is not enough it is time to make a life-changing purchase a five-star hotel room for 180 days only cost us three hundred seventy-five thousand dollars. but for some reason we buy this hotel room we get wrist shot accuracy power and endurance this is a no-brainer i'm dropping half of my total funds on a hotel room so we could say goodbye to about four hundred thousand dollars hopefully it's worth it <laughs> let's see what happens there we go fellas we've got the accuracy okay of course we have to face the media too being down oh two nothing more that i want to do than talk to these guys shout out to dallas price look at him looking dapper there in the corner Rostislav Nashrov, you are down in the series how do you plan on turning this around my play has been fine i'm not the reason we are behind so far <laughs> yo it has been entirely my look at that stat line zero 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 okay we've been outplayed and outworked i'm just gonna give the good answers all right one game at a time we're gonna get this done i told you no more promises it's all business also rusty looking pretty fresh there with his blue jackets apparel speaking of apparel i gotta give a shout out to our sponsor the columbus heat we just dropped some of my favorite merch ever with our brand new third jerseys and also these beautiful third logo hats are you kidding me the columbus chill inspired logo in our pink and blue columbus this heat colors the og hat obviously looking good but if you want a bit more pop for the spring and summer coming up we have the blue and pink bucket hat columbus heat edition you guys know we love to go crazy with our colors none crazier than this one the pink underneath the blue up top one of the sickest pieces of merch i think that we have ever had so if you want to pick up the og hat the bucket hat or our brand new third jersey link will be in the description below very limited supplies so get it while you can no more messing around we're back at home against the detroit red wings this is the biggest game of our lives let's get dialed oh baby the glow sticks are coming out here at nationwide arena rusty has got plus three wrist shot accuracy if that's not enough to start burying some goals i don't know what is we are putting our life on the line this game we are blocking every single shot and most importantly we are going to score our first goal here of the stanley cup if that went in dude oh Dude, I swear at some point in this series, we're going to figure out how to beat Reimer and the floodgates are going to open up. There's just going to be 10 goals into the back of the net. But until we figure it out, we're stuck wondering, will we ever score a goal on James Reimer? That's the... I'm telling you, this guy is insane. We even have Dylan Larkin jumping six feet into the air to make saves. <gasps> yes, okay. Hey, two minutes in, we're already on the power play. Let's go here, fellas. Time to lock in. I'm scoring here. Dylan Larkin head right to the box. This guy's absolutely rattled. Look at him. He's shaking right now. Coach, put me on the ice. I am here to win hockey games. Why am I on the power play with Jack Roslevic? I will never... I will never know. How can we not beat Reimer? I will never know. Okay, big win. Oh, okay, big win. Okay, we're going to start passing the puck a bit more. We got to do this cut play. Yep, see, if that puck goes to me, I think we score that. That might have just hit my head. Yep, I'm going for a big cut here. Yep, back door. What a poke, dude. Reimer is insane. He does not make mistakes. Okay, surely we win this battle on, on the power. 
on the power play. We're just going to give them free rushes to the to the center slot. No problem. Okay, let's get a little bit of wheels. Johnson. Johnson with a B-Way. Johnson! Ew! Ken Johnson with the one-hander B-Way. Boys, this team is picking up steam right now. Ew! That four-handed side, too. One of the nastiest goals our copies have ever scored. KJ walks in with the one hand. Let's go. All right, here we go, boys. It's my turn to score a goal. It's my turn to go. Oh, we are battling, dude. We actually found that puck. Okay, they're starting to make some mistakes. You know, we put the four check on them. They, they turn the puck over. Look at this. They're just handing us this puck. Let's go here, Johnny. Okay, Johnny. I'm going to go down low for you, John. Yep. Beautiful look. I want a goal here, boys. Get in. There's a good screen there by KJ. Dude, KJ's popping off right now. Let's go. Don't get me wrong. Love seeing my boy KJ pop off. Rusty needs to come out here and score a goal, though. I am not going to be happy unless I end this game with a goal on the score sheet. The good news is coach has actually given us some longer shifts. I'm going to be smarter and get off the ice here. I know I want to go up there on that quick rush, but if we take these shorter shifts, coach is going to keep giving us shifts. Okay, right to the middle. Yeah, and lock in here, boys. Yep. See, that this is this is the kind of defensive-minded... <gasps> Hold on. Wheel. Rusty wheel. <gasps> Rusty wheel. Fiddle. <laughs> what is that hit, dude? How is it possible for both my legs to fly out from under me on the lightest bump of all time? I had Cider burn there, too. Okay, Bocas. Okay. I'm going to go down. You know what? Cider. There's me trying to lay a big hit. We're going to stick to our poke checks today. All business. Two to zero for the boys. Uh, hey. It might not be Rusty popping off this game, but at least the rest of the team is. We got one minute here. If we can get one more goal, this game's over. Let's go here. Do not do not let Larkin walk in like that. Nice bump there. Again, we just get those last second bumps. We're chilling. 30 seconds here. I'm going to try to give... That. <laughs> Rusty is back! gonna count i thought we had an offside entering the zone i thought we had a goal interference is this gonna count it is going to count i cannot believe my eyes dude they call off every single time you barely tap the goalie with your stick they bring that goal back today they have not i think it's because they're the ones that put the puck in the net not really me i just kind of ran into the goalie and then they did the rest to her what a goal for the boys three Oh, what a save. I'm, I'm diving. Yep. I'm putting my life on the line here, boys. All right. Three to zero after one. I don't even feel like I've done anything except run into the goalie with seven seconds left on the clock. But we will take it. We're up 3-0. If we choke this lead away, we don't deserve to win the Stanley Cup. All right. Let's keep this rolling here. Upon further review, we took a look at the replay. They are the ones that threw the puck into the back of the net. Does it count as a goal for Rusty on the score sheet? Absolutely. Did I do anything to deserve it besides interfere the goalie? Absolutely not. But a goal is a goal nonetheless. We're up 3-0. to zero. Let's get 10 on these boys. Dude, I wanted to send a Brinkett into the bench so bad. That has still not happened once this entire series. Okay, nice little feed there. I'm just going to try to burn to the outside. There's nothing really there, but you know what? We can walk in, fire that low. Reimer, I want you to head to the bench right now. You're not playing another minute in this game. You might not even play another minute in this playoff series. Rusty is bearing everything right now. Dude, it wasn't even low-key. Was that even a good shot? I, like, fired that middle of the net left. I mean, hey, shoot it low. Good things happen. Don't let your foot off the pedal, but let's not get too fancy. Coach, we're up four goals, and I'm absolutely buzzing. I'm going for literally Mishy after Mishy starting right now. I want to set the record straight right now. Every single time that I have a good game, people are in the comments. Oh, he changed the difficulty, whatever. I'm going to go over to my settings right now. We're on Superstar. I've changed zero settings. It's the same we've always played on. I don't know what's happening, okay? The record is set straight, though. The thing about this game, and, and I'm going to try not to jinx it right here, it really does feel like a lot of the games are, like, predetermined. Like, not even just your performance, but, like, how the computers play, the turnovers that they make, the shots that go in. Sometimes it feels like there's just nothing that you can do. And this game, it's one of those games in the opposite direction. Every single shot that we take is going into the back of the net. So I'm just going to keep shooting the puck. We're going to pat our... Like, you're telling me, like, when does Johnny do stuff like that? Usually he walks into the zone, turns it over instantly. 
Now he's dangling, trying to shoot top left, making every right move. Listen, we've got a couple goals here. What we haven't done is lay a big hit. I'm going to try to take a run at somebody, probably Dylan Larkin. We want to take Larkin to bring it out of this game. So I'm going to try to take an actual run. Also, they got a 61 out there, which I don't love. Okay, let's go, KJ. Yep, KJ with a nice little feed. I'm going to try to just walk this over. You know what? Why don't we go for our Mishy? Oh, if I scored that diving goal, dude, we've had a couple good efforts at it. Just have not been able to, to bury one. I tell you what, Rusty's on a mission to take Reimer out of this game. We've ran into him twice. We dove over his head there. Not allowing him to move. We're going to do everything we can to get this guy out. If we had to score a Hattie and get him out of the game, that's one way to do it too. Nice dump there by Peek. I'm going to grab this puck and go for a mission. A little bit from behind there, no? No call whatsoever. Okay. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do my job. Again, I'm gonna stay mid slot and just I'm a poke checking machine. Sure, we can't lay a hit to save our life, but at the very least, we can lay some pokes. Wallman, that's about the biggest hit that I can make. Okay. Well, there's good news and bad news. The good news is we have a 4-0 lead. The bad news is we are starting to get uh, less and less shifts. I think coach is trying to keep keep their first line healthy, keep them, you know, rested for the next game, obviously. That would have been that would have been disgusting the, the little the little flip pass to johnny but i'm fine with it if i get injured in a in a 4-0 game and you know i'd be equally mad at coach so we're just gonna do what we can here stay strong keep this lead i don't want a single goal going in i had a feeling that one was going in if that made it through nice save elvis okay they do have line in net okay i thought something was weird rhymer's not making saves like that so rhymer did get kicked out of the game we got lions back after two periods we have removed the goaltender from the game whether that be due to injury or just him letting in absolute muffins we have a 4-0 lead and we're going to do everything in our power to not choke this away again if i lose this game i don't care what happens i don't care if i'm not on the ice for a single one of them we do not deserve to win the stanley cup it's that simple i tell you what would be a pretty good feeling though scoring dude they are chasing like no tomorrow scoring a hat trick in the Stanley Cup playoffs at home when we needed it most. This is the clutch performance that I'm talking about. The last few episodes, we've been saying a lot. We've been saying, oh, we're gonna step up. Oh, we're gonna change the game. Nothing happens. Today, we're actually making a difference. Maybe it's a little bit of luck. Maybe it's a little bit of skill. Whatever it is, it's a mindset change. And that's what we have here, Rusty. Uh, okay, Rusty, whatever that was, don't do that again. Nice, oh! <laughs> Yo, Elvis kind of just tanked that. And now we got Rusty going with wheels. Dude, I have I have no speed whatsoever. We're going to take a hit. Yep, feed me. Boom. Nice shot, dude. How does that puck not go in? I'm going to just sit down low. Yep, we're going to take it to the net. Back in for him. Boys, I am on another level today. Let's go, Rusty. The hat's raining down. Rusty scores his first career playoff hat trick. And this place is absolutely absolutely dead dude why are the fans not the fans are not hyped at all like what you guys are witnessing a history right now oh shout out to you guys see how quick that hat went out dude the, the second that puck went in hat flew over the, the glass all right shout out to that fan he's at least in the game holy five to zero i mean i knew we'd have dude it's not just us scoring every shot it's Elvis making every single save too. What a save, dude. All right, Johnny, nice nice little hold there. Yep. Oh, I tried to force that across. That actually did get through. It's not quite where we want it to be. I like that one touch too. I mean, our line, the chemistry has been insane. The one touches, I know we're not connecting every single play, but at least the effort's there from Johnny and, and KJ. Elvis, you listen, Elvis, you do not let a goal in this game. I'm putting my life on the line. Yep, big block, big block that thing's out of the ring. What a play from Rusty, dude. I don't even think I've laid a hit this game. I might have zero hits. So we're gonna try to lay a booming hit or, okay, we're well, in right to the power play. No, we're not, because Rusty's gonna score right here. Yo, I'm, I'm doing the KJ special. The... Okay, I've tried to do the KJ special with the one-hander. Not, not quite as pretty as his. Nice win. Power play, bang. Okay, I forgot, I actually... <laughs> What are they? Oh, wait, they're calling a kick? 
So Jack Roswick was sitting and battling in front of the net, and I think it literally ramps off the toe of his skate into the back of the net. I mean, if the one earlier counted, then surely this is going to count. And it is going to count. <laughs> it's six to zero. Boys, I, I told you, I don't know what's going on. I, I, I don't have the words. We're not even going to try to pretend to know what's happening. It, it's six to zero. So I'm just going to take a quick shift here again. I don't want to risk an injury or anything like that. We'll let, uh, we'll let power play unit one get the job done. I'm going to go for one quick coast to coast skate. And then we are done for this game. Nice little move there, Russ. Little shimmy. Little toad. Okay, I think it's my time to get off the ice. Oh, okay, now it's my time. We laid our big hit. We're getting off the ice. What a play there, Russ. And the Columbus Blue Jackets have held on to a shutout. After getting demolished in our first two games, we come out and shock the world. A 6-0 victory. Shout out to KJ and Johnny Hockey. Listen, I know I'm playing some decent hockey this game. But our line mates, they brought it together. A one-hander out of KJ, some nasty goals there from Johnny, and of course, a hat trick from Rostislav Nashrov. Also, Elvis played one of the best games in net that I think we have ever seen. If this is a sign of things to come, we are winning this series. We're coming back, but we got to see what happens in the sim. We are going to play one game and sim one game if it is not the series deciding game. Because we won that one, this is not series deciding. So we are leaving it up to the sim as to what our fate is in game four. Now, do we actually have some momentum or was it some one-time luck? Let's find out here in the sim. Period number one underway. Can we get the first period at the very least? We can. A 2-0 lead as Lane and Marchenko have set us up. I'm telling you the momentum shifted. I don't know how it happened or when it happened, but we have come out a new team. Period number two. A 2-1 two game. Oh, if this goes to OT, I'm subbing in. Lock that in. And period number three. Will we walk away with a 2-2 series? Yes, we will. 4-3. The final score as Wierenski buries one. The Brinkett got one, but it was not enough. Looking at our series scores from around the league. Boston now up 3-0 over Tampa. We have a 2-2 series there with the Caps and Hurricanes. And 2-1 for the New Jersey Devils, who have been struggling in the real NHL this year. Over on the West, the Blues up 2-1, the Wild up 3-1, the Canucks versus the Oilers. What a series that is. And Dallas up 3-1. This episode here has proved what the Blue Jackets are actually capable of. Will we have it in the next episode? That remains to be seen. At the very least, this series is tied at 2, heading into game number 5. We'll see if we can keep all this momentum going into the next episode. We'll see if Rusty can bury another hat trick. Much more on the way. Thank you for never giving up on Rusty and the boys. If you enjoyed this, hit the video with a like. Hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 1 milli. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.